Hey you guys, it's Scarlett at Build a Cross and I'm going to paint this super cute beachy um, paint by line for you guys today. So I'm going to go in with my Dixie Belle chalk paint colors, of course. And I'm going in first and base coating um, the sand area on the bottom. And the color I use for that is putty. And then the color I'm using for this right here is the Gulf. It's such a pretty blue color. And then the underside of the umbrella is Peacock. And again, these are all Dixieville chalk paint, which you can purchase on the website along with this cutout. And then I also painted a little section on um, one of my, my beach ball down there. I painted a little section on it, the gulf. And then for my surfboard here, I'm going in with Limeade, beautiful green color. And then the other side of my surfboard, I'm going to go in and paint in the color Lucky Lavender, um, another one of my favorite colors. You see a lot of my favorite colors being used in these beachy cutouts because um, the beach is my favorite so anytime I get to paint something beachy um, I love it and um, it also goes with a lot of my favorite bright summery colors and then um, the white on the beach ball is uh, cotton and that's Dixie Belle's whitest white and then for the umbrella I'm just going in and painting it um, in Savannah Mist it's my most used favorite light gray And then um, on the other section of the beach ball, I will use peony. And then I'm going to go in also and use um, flamingo for my little starfish there. It's a perfect starfish color. And um, I'm also going to go in and paint my little bucket here. And I'm using evergreen for my sand bucket. And then I painted the sand in putty and used the gulf for my sand shovel. And then that will complete base coating everything. So then I just let everything dry completely. As you can see here, everything's dry. I'm going in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and outlining everything. And this is a step where everything kind of starts coming to life. Um, and I prefer to outline in black, black, but you can go in and outline in colors um, or white or gray or whatever you wanted to. This marker also makes it super easy, um, which is why um, I use it. It just takes a lot of the effort of a paintbrush away, um, and you're able to just follow the lines that are etched in the cutout for you. And then you need to go in after that is done with a um, number four round and the color cotton and highlight everything. I always use a number four round and the color cotton because um, cotton is their whitest white. And I just love this step. And for me, it's a must-have, but just definitely optional. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day.